Hello, I'm William Gallagher and this is 58 Keys, which, as ever, as always, is for writers like you and me who use and who write on Macs and iPhones and iPads. Uh, do subscribe or support 58 Keys on Patreon because there is so much to talk about and every time you and I talk, we get to put off writing for just a little bit longer. Don't tell anyone. Would you like this to be a long one? Yeah. Look, here's the thing. Neither of us are writing enough, OK? And we can blame life, family, friends, the wind being in the east. We can blame anything. And actually, it's all true. But I offer that what stops us the most is ourselves. Oh, is this a quote, isn't there, that quote? Um, we have met the enemy and they are us. If I remember correctly, it's a quote with some long military, actually possibly even an ecological history to it. But I remember it from Airwolf. OK. Uh, anyway, I did it again, putting things off. OK. The first step is acknowledging the problem. And now you and I are going to solve it, or at least solve it a bit so that we write something more and anything more we can do to prevent us pausing, postponing, prevaricating writing. That's good. And a thing that will be good is called focus modes. Foc is focus modes. That plural thing, it didn't sound right, did it? These things are called a focus yeah, anyway, OK. I actually only want to talk to you about one little bit of Apple's focus modes feature. Uh, if you don't know them at all, then actually you do. You know, uh, if you if you drive, when you're driving, the phone slips into a kind of driving do not disturb mode. Well, that actually is a focus mode now. And that happens automatically, but you can make some for yourself. But you go really far into that. It's all about deciding, well, who can and who can't interrupt you with a phone call while this is on, what apps can do, what all sorts of things. And it's really useful. There's lots to it. I just want to be able to do one thing. I want to be able to pick up my phone for a second, use an app and not see a message from a client that I really don't have to respond to, but I cannot stop myself reading. Or I want to see the apps that I need for the current job and none others please. None others that will distract me, interrupt me, tempt me, alert me, nothing. Just just what I need now, please. That is what you and I are going to do. So please take a look at this. This is my iPhone. And as it happens, these are the apps that I use most days and all of most days. Just for completeness, and later so that I can show you there is, well, I've got no sleeves, nothing hidden up the sleeves. Here is my other home screen. Swipe across. I have two home screen, two home pages on my iPhone, just two screens full of apps. And yeah, OK, there are a few folders in that second one, but I deliberately keep it to two because with more than two, it seems to me I think you're always hunting for an app and I find that distracting. So I have two screens, right? Oh, and then also if you do one more swipe, then uh, we've all got this. Uh, I'm at the regular app library and Either the iPhone is already offering me what I need most right there, or if it isn't, I can tap in the search bar in the top and see a complete list, scroll through that, pick what I want. Now, remember the nothing up the sleeves thing. I should have thought about this before I tried this. Anyway, uh, it's evening time now. And if I wanted to, then without doing anything, this happens on my phone. I'm not going to touch it. Look what happens. Oh, by the way, sorry, let me show you. The, I think that's relaxing, that red, but let me show you the actual lock screen. It makes more sense. You can see theatre things are restful. Well, anyway, but now back into this. Um, I know, obviously, you can see there are far fewer apps, but what won't be so immediately obvious is that what's gone are the ones that tend to interrupt me when I don't want them to. Um, I've chosen to allow messages uh, and that red badge, by the way, there on things like the fantastical calendar app. Well, actually, that's the date. So that's not an interruption thing. Otherwise, the apps that prod me all day and that I don't want them to now for the evening, please, they're toast. And actually now, by the way, I have one screen and the app library. So I can still get to any app that I want. I can still see any messages if I know they're there, but it takes a deliberate set of steps. I am not just distracted out of writing by picking up the phone to do something. I could just not pick up the phone, couldn't I? Nah. Um, anyway, okay, you get that idea, fine, but now let's see a sequel. It's another set of apps, and it's actually it's another wallpaper, isn't it? 
I don't know why I associate New York City with writing. It, well, actually, I do, because when I was trying out Focus Modes, it was the first photograph I found. I was looking into this, trying things, and now, once I've done it, I just kind of can't break that mental connection. Go into writing. That's what I need to say. Anyway, in writing, these are all the apps I use when I'm writing, or at least they are at the moment. They do change. So it's the same thing as the evening stuff. Everything I actually need, nothing I don't want. And all just from choosing which apps to see when. Which is exactly as easy as it sounds. Yeah, but possibly a bit more tedious to set up than you'd expect. Sorry. It's worth it. It's worth it. Creating a home screen. I think you know at least you must know at least bits of this. You've seen the jiggle. Press on hold actually on any not on an app but on any blank part of the screen, and then when all the apps are doing their doings, swipe once from left to right, and ta-da, there is an empty home screen, empty for the moment. Swipe again the same way, and you bring up the app library that's at the end. And actually, if you're anything like me, well then, actually I think this is so useful. I didn't know this. Maybe you only found this out recently. I think if you don't know this, you're going to find it, well, useful here and you'll like it everywhere, which is this. No, hang on, hang on. Sorry, I was dragging out the page. I can let me bring that back, but I'm not, I'm not done with pages yet. You can press and hold on any one app, like pages, and then, yeah, drag it off on the app library to the home screen, fine. But this, this is it. This is the thing. I love this. Press and keep holding that one app. And then while you're still over the app library, use another finger to tap on another app. And that app, flies underneath the first one, in this case, underneath pages. It makes a little stack, like a, a little pile of apps, you know, and, and another, and another, and another. And then you drag all of them out to the new home page, let go, and every app you've got just kind of falls out onto the screen. This works in the app library, as you've just seen, and actually it also works anywhere when you have jiggling apps that are arranged in a, a grid a grid of any kind, a home screen, a folder, all that stuff. It does not work, or at least I've not been able to get it to work, in the app library's complete list of all apps, the, just the straight list of it. There, I've had to do it one by one. But you can speed that up. You can search for an app in the list. You can scroll through it a lot and remind yourself what's there. Or you can tap on that alphabet list on the side to jump to a section. Whatever you do, you search out the apps that you want, and then you add them at this point one by one this is important though notice that i've managed to get myself two copies of good sudoku i do like that up a lot but you know not enough to have it three times so three two right there in front of you you can see but also i was already using it on one of the other home screens it's on my regular second screen oh i shouldn't say copy that's the wrong word it's a difficult word to choose it's not that i have three copies of the same app i have one app but that one app appears in three places. If I delete any one of those instances of the app, the app is completely removed from my iPhone, which is why you may have noticed a couple of years ago now, I think it was, that the message when you go to delete an app has subtly changed. Now it was like, really? And now it's you get an option to delete it, yes, but also just remove from home screen. Let me remove Good Sudoku from home screen. Done. And the copy I have, it, there it is in front of me and also in the other place. Actually, let me also just rearrange this in some order because uh, I want to put off writing for just a little bit longer. Um, it doesn't have to be just apps, of course. Uh, you can use widgets on the iPhone, these little you know displays of more information which are getting more and more useful as iOS 17 comes along. Uh, you can use widgets on this home screen just as you can on any other. Now, last, tap for now. Tap the done button or just wait for it all to stop dancing and it's over, it's finished. You have a new home screen. It's very nice. Like what you did there. Actually, though, really, you have an extra home screen, don't you? Because your regular one's still there and so is this new one. You could leave it like that, couldn't you? But let's be thorough. Press and hold again on a blank area of the screen and then tap what becomes a three dots at the bottom. It says search before and now it's three dots when they're jiggling. Press on there and these are all the home screens I happen to have set up on my iPhone. The ones with ticks and where the icons are, aren't dim, they're in kind of full glorious colour, 
Those are currently showing on my iPhone right now. So I can tap to remove a tick, tap them on, whatever I choose. Pick one, hide the one I didn't want, the one I've just created, done. Now that's gone. Lastly, really lastly this time, go to settings, focus, and you have a list of 10, up to a list of 10. Well, if you've been piddling around with focus mode, you have up to 10. If you haven't, then you have fewer than 10. And when you have fewer than 10, you've also got a plus sign. You can tap that plus sign to add a new one, or you can edit an existing one. Yeah, this is getting into detail of focus mode, and I want to skip it. But really, whatever you do, uh, you're going to do this. Uh, ignore this stuff at the top about the apps and the people. You're not doing that today. Just go down to that section called Customize Screens. There you have three icons. Uh, it's your iPhone lock screen to the left. That one icon in the middle represents all of your home pages in the middle. And then there's your Apple Watch face to the right. Um, you've seen that I use theater seats uh, for an evening focus mode and uh, New York City for some reason for writing. Well, that icon to the left, okay, that's where I set that. I set the lock screen image on that and the wallpaper with it. As it happens, I do have different watch faces. So overnight, for example, I have a face that I can read when I'm really bleary, but that's another story. So for now, ignore the lock screens, ignore the watch, tap on the home screens icon in the middle. And here's a very similar list of all the home screens you have hidden or not, and a very similar tap to give one a tick or not. You can actually tap more than one and then you would see all of these home screens. But for this, for what I want for us, tap the home screen that you've just created and make sure that's the only one ticked and then tap done. Swipe up from the bottom, by the way, now to just to get out of all of this before you change anything else. <laughs> Now there's just switching to this new home screen when you want to the focus mode that you want. One more thing to do. Didn't I just keep saying lastly? Look, there are, there are many, many ways to change to this sort of thing, but let's do it manually. Swipe down to get control center on your iPhone, tap the focus button, choose from the list, done. Notice by the way, I did just say on your iPhone, but once you've set up a focus mode on your iPhone, it's immediately on your iPad and on your Mac and on your Apple Watch even. So let's tell you the truth. I know I did this and I'm not pressing anything and the thing changed. Yeah, that could happen. You could schedule things. What I really did was I turned the focus modes on and off on my Mac. Like I say, though, you can set this to change. Well, you can set this to change uh, when you get to work, for example. If you go to a certain office building or something like that, well, then when you're there, this thing can be on, or a certain time of day. All of which, honestly, that has taken ages to describe to you, and we haven't even glanced at the shutting out phone calls from your ex or something like that. But although it took a long time to say, once it's done, it has really helped me. In fact, actually just moving one app. For what I had two home screens that were identical except for one app, and that would change it. And I'm getting rid of that was big. Instead of this app's red badge throbbing away at me, I wouldn't have to even see it. I know you can switch off badges, and actually I do have switched them off on mail on my iPhone. But with this particular app and this particular client, I was required as part of the contract to know when I was being called. I just, I quite often didn't need to know I was being called right now. I could find out tomorrow morning that'd be enough. But you know how it is when you're trying to write, but a notification is waiting for you. Or or worse, for me, I think, you give in, you think, I'll just have a quick look. You read the message, but that's it. That is something. There's something in that message that's going to be on your mind all evening instead of your writing. And this dodges that. Maybe it's a lot of effort for a small effect. It's a big camera for a small nail, but I think it's an important one. I think it's a useful one sometimes. Listen, that's it for this edition of 58 Keys. By the way, you can always interrupt me. I'll never switch you off. Thanks for watching. Now, take care of yourself. Write more in peace and harmony without notifications, and I will see you soon.